Hello friends, here is Paolo Castellano and uh, I'm going to show you the second part of the um, smart features of IBS edits. So let's see the, the first one, that is the um, ripple delete op um, option. So you know that if you want to remove a clip from timeline, you just have to select it and press the uh, delete button on, on the keyboard or delete the right button delete from the from the right button menu so let's undo uh, from version 2 of IVS edits there is a new feature that allows you to uh, delete uh, and remove the gaps uh, at the same time for example if I want to remove these two clips and uh, closing the gap I can right click uh, on them on one of them and select ripple delete we have two options for ripple delete ripple delete and ripple delete single track the, the first option will delete uh, the clips and close the gap uh, including all the clips that are on uh, on the other tracks it is better if I place other track other clips here to show you what happens so if I decide to delete these two clips using the right button ripple delete backspace on the keyboard IBS edits deleted the two clips and moved all the clips both the ones on V1 and the ones on V3 on um, backwards on timeline if I undo and uh, decide to delete these two clips and I press this 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 time right button um, ripple delete single track this time IVS edits will move just the clips where um, uh, just the track where I'm deleting the, the clips so let's use this option and you can see that the clips on V3 remain in the in the same position as they were before making the edit. Another um, new feature of IBS edits is the HQ button inside the preview window. In the past uh, there wasn't this button and IBS edits was always in the standard mode. In the standard mode uh, if you enlarge uh, the window uh, the, the so if you don't enlarge the window, the quality is acceptable. But if you enlarge the window, um, there is a huge image degradation. So let's see it uh, uh, enabling another new feature of IBS edits. So let's go into the preferences, right button preferences or F5 button on timeline uh, we have the option to uh, to overlay the timecode let's enable um, preview and export uh, la extra large that wasn't uh, available in the past now we can reposition the timecode uh, over our uh, preview And uh, in the past, uh, we were compelled to, to see also the time code expressed in frame. Now you can enable or disable it. So let's make it in the center. Let's use now this time code for, um, to show the HQ button. So let's press an OK. With, uh, and let's enlarge the preview window as you can see at these sides the the text is very elicit as well as the the bug and the flowers if we enable the hq button you will see uh, a big difference because now we we are using a preview at the full uh, full quality without any compromises 
So your question may be why it was it wasn't pre uh, present in the past because with old computers uh, so much quality could uh, give you problems into program playback. So this is the end of the second part. So I hope that you like it to to see it and uh, stay tuned for my next video bye